and the person sitting in that seat turns around. And guess what, guys? It's Mo Abudu. Yes, Mo Abudu, executive producer of the film. She literally heard everything we said, both good and bad. Hey guys, it's Delphinator here, and this is Review Quickie. Hello there, newbies, yoo-hoo, and oldies, welcome back. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, do that right now, and the bell right beside it, so you get notifications in real time. Let's talk about the Royal Hibiscus Hotel. So guess what, guys? I went to see this movie with my cinema buddy Shegun. You guys have seen him on my channel a number of times. As per usual, we were making our side remarks, commenting while the movie was going on, both good and bad comments. And the movie ends, lights come on in the cinema, and there's a girl standing right in front of us, and she turns around and she says, oh my God, you guys are hilarious. I love your commentary. So we laugh with her, we say what's up and everything. And then she points to the seat right next to her, which is the seat in front of me. And the person sitting in that seat turns around. And guess what, guys? It's Mo Abudu. Yes, Mo Abudu, executive producer of the film. She literally heard everything we said, both good and bad. I guess that's real-time feedback. <laughs> anyway, we laughed about this. We took some pictures, and that's that. So now let's talk about the actual movie. Royal Hibiscus Hotel tells the story of a disillusioned London chef who visits Nigeria and struggles with her matchmaking mother and restoring the family's rundown hotel. She's heartbroken when she discovers the man she loves is buying said hotel. It was directed by Ishayo Bako and it stars Zena Balogun, Kenneth Okoli, Deyemi Okonlawo, Joket Silva, Olu Jacobs, Jide Kosoko, Rachel Oniga, Kemi Lala, Kindoju, Osi KJ, Inidima Okoje, and others. Let me just say right off the bat that this movie fell short of my expectations. But first, let's talk about what I actually liked about this film. Number one, the location. Location, location, location. It was everything. They picked this old building in Lagos Island and they did it up, sort of painted it, refurbished it, added some nice interior, and it looked like something out of Downton Abbey. I really, really liked that interesting piece of architecture that was used. Secondly, the proposal at the Sky Bar at Eco Hotel. Ooh, that lovely drone shot, you know, from the sky. It was, you know, that location was amazing as well. I loved it. The music was impeccable. Bowl. Like, I loved every single selection. We had picks from um, Simi, from Johnny Drew, from Monsua Madi. They kept playing tonight over and over again, and I didn't mind because I love that song. That's my jam. And lastly, the B roll clips of the food. Whew, it was so good. I felt like I could smell every single aroma, every scent from every spice that was sprinkled in the food, the bubbling, the simmering, the shimmering. The food doesn't shimmer. But you get my drift, like it was so well done, I loved it. Now, onto what I did not like. RHH is another example, just like The Wedding Party 2, that an ensemble cast does not necessarily mean that the movie is gonna be good. There were so many limbo characters in this movie, it, like a bunch of objects just floating around in space. Nah. Case in point, Auntie Jokez and Uncle Olu's characters in this movie, I don't know where it fits in. It was mentioned once after they showed them, but mm, it was a poorly executed cameo. Also, Aka's character, um, Inidima's character, Koye's character, Nah, like we could have done without it. It did not add to the story in any way. Moving on. Okay, no, circling right back. Back to characters. Rachel Oniga's character. I'm sorry, but that character came across like a knockoff Tinuade. That's Shola Shoboale from The Wedding Party 2. Nah. It just looked like the ABBA version of Tinuade. Zena Balogun did what was required of her character. Kenneth Okoli, uh, I've seen him do better in other films. I think O.C. paired against Zainab would have been a better pairing. I don't know, that's just me, my thoughts. Also, I think Lala as the insipid receptionist did her a disservice. Have you guys seen Lala on stage? Like, I really pray and hope that she gets a character that shows what she can actually do as opposed to some of the characters I've seen her play on TV. About the story, it had such a predictable plus. There was nothing new, no twists to sort of throw us off. Nothing new. 
If you're looking for a feel-good rom-com, maybe RHH is for you. Although it had more rom than com, there was barely much to laugh about. Well, that's just me. I don't know. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, I give the Royal Hibiscus Hotel a 2.9 Jollof rating. Go check it out, guys, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section, okay? It's the Delphinator here. Always great hanging with you guys. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and share this video. Till the next one. Toodles!